we had a wonderful captain. Um, uh, most of the captains were gunners. An ordinary naval officer uh, becomes a naval officer and then he usually does courses. They usually becomes a torpedo man, a navigator, and guns were the thing. That's what the Navy survived on. You know. This is where I get swelled headed. That I use his words. We had this mammoth fleet, the biggest fleet we ever had in the Second World War out there, and the whole thing was for flying because gunnery was out. And the whole thing was there for the torpedo bomber reconnaissance people. You had to have the fighters to look after you and do things like that. If the bombing fellows couldn't do their stuff, as he said, we're all wasting our time. He put everything out for, for um, the bombing people, and he was superb. very dodgy. It was a, the worst one we'd done in as much as we had further to fly from the carrier to the target. I mean, if they can, they, they will bring the ship in as near to the land as possible so that uh, we haven't got as far to go. But this was a, a very long operation. It took quite a long lot of time to work up four carriers together so as to provide the build-up of the strike because it's, it's going to be about 450 miles to the target from the ship. Right across uh, a range of mountains, about 12,000 feet I think they were, to get to the target which was the other side. Uh, on the Malaccan straight side from as we operated off the way out on the Indian Ocean. The problem with the attack was that we had to fly off, climb to about 15,000 feet to cross a range of mountains and Palembang was about 100 miles in from where the fleet was. So it was, you know, if the Japs had many fighters there, we were going to come under quite savage attack on the way in, as well as during the attack. We knew there was quite a lot of fighter opposition, and the Corsairs and Fireflies went in to uh, strafe these airfields before the main strike force got to the target area so as to cut down the number of fighters that they could put up. Along with four other pilots and crews, I was briefed for an attack against a large fighter airfield on the west coast of Sumatra. We were armed with four 500 pound bombs and this was a diversionary attack for the others um, who were going to attack the oil refineries in Operation Meridian um, 1 and 2 against Plagio Refinery. So we went on this diversionary attack on the 24th to attack Mana Airfield, the, the two nearly parallel runways of the fighter with the fighter aircraft on the ground. I sat on the round down at the rear of the carrier, I used to be the last one off. And after the others had taken off, Girl Z and I left. Uh, we formed up, the plane looked always looked beautiful and immaculate. I had a wonderful crew. They sort of polished it and loved it and kissed it and kept it going in superb form. And it felt jolly good. I, looking back, was very lucky. Not all the aircraft in the carrier can be put down into the hangars. You have to carry some on the flight deck as well. And being a junior fellow, my aircraft had to be on the flight deck. 
the operation was that you flew in low over the water and when you got to Sumatra you climbed like mad over these terrible hills and I was on the raid and I was climbing up over these hills and my aircraft uh, caught fire um, so I returned and did not do the raid I, I, I returned uh, it was some electrical thing I think the water got into it and uh, uh, didn't know what it was, you know. It was a fire. Didn't see flames, and this terrible acrid stuff came out of it, absolutely choking one in the cockpit. It was a, some electrical thing that had. We formed up and climbed slowly towards our target area, with the escorts above, and there was the target. Two nearly parallel runways, were, um, and at about eight thousand feet. We split into two pairs and uh, attacked the two runways simultaneously, one to port, one to starboard, and diving out to sea at low level to form up afterwards. The fighters went down ahead of us and strafed on the ground. And we set off down the coast of Buntuhan airfield where we formed up in line of stern and dived from about 2,000 feet and strafed the aircraft and built it on the ground. Bearing in mind that I had two 5 Brownies, one in each wing, which didn't do an awful lot of damage, but whatever they hit, they hurt. And we didn't do them monkeys, that's what we wanted to do. There was some very active anti-aircraft fire. One Hel Hellcat pilot was hit in the eye. So what we did is we shepherded him by him flying between two Avengers all the way back to the carrier and I was on his port side and a friend of mine of course on his starboard side and he formated below us so he could see with one eye where he was going and we got him right down to the rear of the carrier and did the approach for him so that he would have his hook down and we, we went off to starboard and port and he landed on the carrier and he managed to do it safely.